Hello, today I'm going to talk to you about the Marshmallow Experiment by Walter Michel. Uh, this is an experiment that's mentioned in the article Blame It on the Brain, which is written by Jonah Lehrer. If you're interested in reading the article, there's a link to that article in the, dis in the uh, description under this video. So the marshmallow experiment, here's how it works. We have a four-year-old child, and then we take that child and we put that child alone in a room. In that room, we have a chair, a table. The child sits in the chair at the table, and on that table is a marshmallow. The instruction for the child is, you can eat the marshmallow now, but if you wait for 20 minutes and don't eat the marshmallow for 20 minutes, we will give you another marshmallow. So you can have one marshmallow now or wait 20 minutes and then you can have a total of two marshmallows. What the researchers were looking at was this idea of delayed gratification, which is this ability to wait or to postpone a reward for a bigger reward later. So the results of the experiment, not surprisingly, is that most of the four-year-old children ate the marshmallow. But there were some kids who did not eat the marshmallow, who waited the 20 minutes. These are what we would call high delayers. So they delayed gratification for the 20 minutes. Okay, so what the experiment did was it followed these students. It identified the high delayers, those who could wait the 20 minutes, and the ones who ate the marshmallow right away, and followed those students for a long time for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, checked up on these individuals periodically. And one thing they found was the, the ones who waited the 20 minutes to eat the marshmallow, they were generally more successful in just about any way that you want to measure success. In high school, at the end of high school, these students who waited the 20 minutes, they had higher SAT scores, they had a lower body mass index, so they were thinner and healthier, they generally made more money, they reported having more friends and healthier relationships, and along with that, there were fewer divorces among, on average among the group of people who waited to eat the marshmallow, compared to those who ate it right away. And this is years and years later. So then, if the people who waited to eat the marshmallow, those kids became much more successful at adults, let's go back and look at how did they delay eating the marshmallow. And initially, we maybe think, well, they they had stronger willpower. And we picture these kids just sitting there for 20 minutes with that marshmallow in front of them and just looking at it and not eating it. But really, if you look at the video of these kids, which I'll also include a link where you can watch some video of kids doing this experiment. You should really watch it because they're really hilarious. The kids, it wasn't necessarily that they had stronger willpower. You didn't see kids just sitting there not eating the marshmallow. The way they were able to be successful is that the kids who didn't eat the marshmallow, they had better distraction strategies. So the kids who were able to take the focus away from the marshmallow and bring the focus to something else like playing with their shoelaces, to pretend the marshmallow was a cloud, or just look at the floor. If they could take their focus in another direction, those were the kids who were successful at 
delaying eating the marshmallow, and those kids ended up being more successful later in life. It wasn't that they just sat there and had stronger willpower. What they did have were better distraction strategies. So what we can learn from this is we all know we have marshmallows in our lives, whether it's watching TV or playing video games or Facebook or some sort of food. And what we need to think about is what distraction strategies can I use to move, to move my focus away from this thing that's in front of me to something else so that that temptation is no longer there. Because I think if we have better distraction strategies, we can be more successful in different aspects of our lives. So, what distraction strategies can you use for the things in your life that are your marshmallows? Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the video.